Today on WFMS, we have some reminders and dates to be aware of as we return and begin our week. D&D Club members, remember, you'll be meeting today. Teens for Christ will be meeting tomorrow. We have some more do's and don'ts in our Tech Talk Tuesday segment. We have a basketball scheduling update for you today. Science Bowl Club meets this week. The Yoke Club and Board and Board Game and Chess Club meets this evening. The WFMS Emerald Announcement Network starts now. All aboard, Admirals. Welcome back and thank you for joining us this morning on The Firmness, the Admiral Announcement Network. I'm Rika. And I'm Heidi. Welcome to your home for news, announcements, and more on WFMS. Now for today's news and announcements. Roll the dice, pass, go, collect $200. Are you ready for some game time? The Board Game Chess Club will be meeting this afternoon in Mrs. Link's room in Navy Pod from 345 to 430. Also make sure your ride here is promptly at 430. See you then. The Yoke Club will meet this evening and every Tuesday in the FMS cafeteria from 7 to 8 p.m. Yoke has different theme clubs where you can compete in games, watch ridiculous skits, and battle to be the new Chug and Crush champion. We hope to see you there. D&D members, listen up. We want to remind you that the Dungeons & Dragons Club will be meeting again this afternoon. We will meet from 345 to 445. TFC, Teens for Christ, will meet well, tomorrow morning in the Studio Theater from 7.50 through 8.20. There will be games, activities, donuts, and a weekly Bible study. We hope to see you there. The Science Bowl Club will be meeting this Thursday, and we will meet from 3.45 to 5. Please have your ride here at 5 o'clock, and we will meet every Thursday in room 251, Orange B, Mrs. Browning's room. That's it for announcements. Now for our Tech Talk Tuesday. Hi, I'm Vivian. And I'm Gracie. Now for our Tech Talk Tuesday segment. In our Tech Talk Tuesday segments, we want to continue to provide information and encouragement for our students and teachers to be informed about tech trends and the ins and outs of digital citizenship and making wise online decisions. Today we have installment number three in our series of some of the do's and don'ts of not letting your social media use negatively infect your life. Statistics show that across teens age groups, the average time spent on social media ranges from a low as 4.1 hours per day to 5.3 hours, respectively. That's a lot, and it shows that social media is a huge part of our lives, so we need to be aware of how we use it wisely. Here's our first don't for today. Don't vent or complain, especially about specific people or organizations in public spaces online. People will negatively judge you based on your attitude, even if your complaint has merit. Employers, schools, and others have access to social media and they are looking. Is that spiteful comment about your boss or coworker? Is it really worth losing your job over? Maybe you think sharing with those who may have an awesome opportunity to help you in the future would be a good idea? You never know what others might be capable of. Be careful, too, about complaining in seemingly private environments or sending direct messages to others you think you can trust. You never know who might eventually see your post. Today we have another don't for you. Don't hang out with the wrong crowd online. Resist accepting every friend or follower request that comes your way. Having a lot of followers isn't the status symbol some people make it out to be and can just increase your risk of victimization. Giving strangers access to your personal information opens you up to all sorts of potential problems. It's also true, though, that those who are most likely to take advantage of you won't be complete strangers, but will be those you've let into your life just a little bit, like allowing them to friend or follow you, these people could use the information they can now access against you. Be selective with who you allow to enter into your world. Go through your friends and followers list regularly and take the time to delete those. You do not fully trust those that you have superficial and largely meaningless friendships with and those you probably aren't going to ever talk to again. Stay tuned next week for more do's and don'ts of establishing a positive and dynamic online social media presence and reputation that will follow and help you for years to come. That's it for our Tech Talk Tuesday. Now for a quick sports update. Hi, I'm Andrew. And I'm Callie. Now for a quick sports update. We hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving break and enjoyed some wonderful food and time with family. While many of us were enjoying our traditional Thanksgiving festiv 
festivities, four of our admirals were knocking out a few miles on the hot trot race on Thanksgiving morning. Cade, Lincoln, and Evan Lockhart ran in the race, then, then cheered on Miss Morgan as she ran well in the popular Thanksgiving race. Great job representing, Admirals. We've had good showings at our games this season. We were away for Monday's game and took on Robertstown. Stay tuned for scores and details. We will also be away for Thursday's game this week. We need and still hope to see a good cheering section as at each of our games. In Thursday's game, we will take on Halls. Our girls' games will begin at 4.30, and the guys' games will begin at 5.45. We hope to see you there. That's it for sports. Very short and sweet. Now back to the news desk. Thank you for joining us this morning on WFMS, the Admiral's News Network. We hope you have a great day. And evening. Make good choices. Be kind. Stay safe. And, and we will see you tomorrow. tomorrow.